Hello everyone and welcome to Compass Connection. I'm Jamie Nicholson, the district's Child Nutrition Program Manager. And with me today is Patty Graves, Sodexo General Manager, and Sarah Gibson, our yeah. School Garden Coordinator. I'd like to start by talking about the district's free lunch program. The CEP program allows students to bypass the, uh, the original way of applying for a free or reduced meal and it bypasses that application. And so families who maybe uh, struggled with um, those sort of things um, or were uncomfortable putting those things down on paper, um, with CEP now all of our families just qualify for those free meals. And so uh, it really takes, a, takes away that stigma that families used to have. Um, Oregon has passed a law uh, several years ago, actually, the, the no shaming law. And so what that does is um, it used to be if kids have big lunch balances, they would get just a cheese sandwich. That's not the case anymore. And actually, that was never the case in Lincoln County School District. Um, we've always provided our kids meals, but we would, we would take on that debt for those families. And with the CE program, we're able to bypass that as well. And so it's really a win-win for everyone. Um, students don't have to worry. Uh, about mom and dad uh, or grandma or whoever sending them the lunch money. They just show up, they eat, and they go about their day. Um, with our school meals, we are required to meet uh, all the state and federal uh, regulations set forth by USDA and the Department of Education. Uh, we're one of the most highly, heavily... Highly regulated. We're one of the most highly regulated federal funded programs really uh, anywhere in the school's programs. Um, we operate self-funded, so um, we fund ourselves. Our money does not come from the state, state school fund. It is all based on the money we receive from the government, uh, from the state and the, the USDA for our meals. And so we have to be pretty self-sufficient uh, in that part. How we can make that work really well for Lincoln County, because we are a large rural county, is we can hire a food service management company. And um, we currently have Seduxo. We've been with them for several years, um, and they are a great partner for us. And I'll let Patty tell you a little bit about what they can bring to the table. So Sodexo has been with the Lincoln County School District since 2003 on the food service side. Um, and we bring, we bring a host of... Um, being able to be compliant and following the making sure that the district is following the rules and the regulations, um, making sure that our menus are following the Healthy Hunger for Kids Act, and making sure that we have a registered dietitian that looks at all of our menus and all of our meal planning. Um, school food services are, like Jamie said, are pretty highly regulated. We are only allowed to serve a certain amount of key calories per age groups. We're only allowed to serve so much in salt and sodium. Our cereals are all um, not like cereal you would buy in the store. It's um, reduced sugars and reduced fats. Our, sh our milk is um, non-fat flavored milk or 1% white milk. And those are all highly regulated um, at, by ODE and USDA. And it kind of ties in um, with you know, working with our school gardens and also um, lowering our footprint and bringing things more locally, that is what we're trying to do. And so it all kind of ties in together. And in the bottom line for us and for the support of the district is bringing back, is making sure that everything that we do is looked at, like I said earlier, by a re registered dietitian or somebody was in Sodexo has this huge umbrella for us to reach out to and have any questions that might you know come up for either the district um, or new policies or processes that might come up from USDA or thank you for watching Compass Connection and tune in next week for another host and an interesting topic. <laughs>